somehow I didn't hit record right away on this match, so we're uh, <laughs> we're at the end of my second turn. So basically, turn one I fetched for Fire Drinker. Uh, I mean, fetched for Mountain played Fire Drinker. Fire Drinker Seder turned uh, his turn. He just played lands so far, and my turn two played Burning Tree into a Wolf Skull Shaman, and he's responding with a Grizzly Salvage, which reveals. Banisher Priests, Ujzela, Gah. So maybe this is some kind of Unburial right stack? Gisela is just a beating. That's a card I do not want to play against. I, I have zero outs to that card. It turns off Rage Forger. That's just game over if he you know, gets that card out. And he left it in his yard too. He took the Sun Petal Grove. So I guess we have to just, you know, kill him before he can... Oh no, there's Unburial Rites. We're just dead. We are super dead. <laughs> Next turn he goes Unburial Rites. Um... The Gisela and just shuts us totally down. This was a deck in this was like a standard deck in Innistrad uh standard. <laughs> so props for bringing that back. He probably has Angel of whatever that brings all the human dudes back. <laughs> I don't think the official oracle name is Angel of Whatever, but that's what I'm calling it. Okay. Mountain, okay. Um, don't think it matters here because we're just super uber dead. Uh, even with a Rage Forger, because the Giselle is just going to shut that off, if I understand correctly. Prevent half of one. Round it up. Yeah, we just can't beat that. So, actually, <laughs> I think here I should just concede. I think I just lose to that, so... Yeah, I can't beat that. Wow. Um Oh yeah, relic of progenitus. Um Um Relic of Progenitus would be bombs in the sideboard and actually somebody told me to put that but um not the smartest person and I forgot um not sure what to, to take out uh I guess I don't want to overload on three drops so Uh, <laughs> you know, if it was a tournament, I wouldn't be chit chatting with the opponent. But um, it's not, so I will. That's one of the things I like about Just for Fun. Ugh. This is not a good hand.
as you can tell by my grunt of disdain. The opponent's excited to watch the video tomorrow. That's nice. Shout out Judge Panda. You get to watch yourself beat my ass tomorrow. <laughs> oh, okay. So, I mean, I could get lucky. He's on um, a four color mana base, so if he stumbles at all, you know, this is the kind of deck that can take advantage of it, although this is not the most aggressive draw here, so. wonder if there are any shamans that have like a flame tongue kavu esque kind of ability. Um Yeah, that would be nice in the deck. Some kind of some more removal because those banisher priests are scary. They're gonna slow me down too much, you know. This is one of those decks where you need a critical mass and like stuff just needs to go right. <laughs> Good draw. Good draw, deck. Thank you, deck. Okay. Um, yep. Crash in for two. All right, so we're ten percent of the way there. <laughs> in your hand, huh? No lands. So that's nice for us. And he did not bin a reanimation target. That's also nice for us. So we might have a chance here. Um, okay. So here I get to go Rattleclaw into Rage Forger. <coughs> and that's a lot of damage next turn. And a good amount this turn, really. It's deceptive because of the triggers. It's kind of, it's like, it's like an anthem, but be it's like a double anthem, but better because there's no, you know, they get through even blocks, you know? Um, okay, so. Opponent's going to go down to 11, which means if he doesn't kill the Rage Charger, he's dead. I think. Kessig Malcontents, okay. So... What's the deal here? I can give something one point of trample, which should be enough. I think I'm going to attack with everything here. I think he's dead. I didn't add it up. But it just seems like oodles. Oodles of noodles. Oodles of damage. Should do it. Yep. That's enough. Okay, we go to game three. Note to self, add Relic of Progenitus to sideboard so you have some kind of graveyard hate. Um, <coughs> yeah. 
We run the back. After this game, I'm going to stop and go work out because I'm a fat lard and I didn't uh, move off the couch today. Um, this is a horrible hand. But I'm going to keep it because if I can play Banneret into Kicked Ruin Blaster, might be enough to keep him off on Burial Rites, at least for a couple turns. And, you know, odds are pretty good. Oh. Alright. Well, opponent uh, folds. Yeah, it happens. So, all right, um, that works out. So let me uh, conclude this series for now. If you guys like the deck, I could definitely play more matches with this deck. It's a lot of fun. So um, props to Bob for the list, and uh, hope you enjoyed watching.